So I think a, a really good, thorough, elegant, compelling theory of phenomenal experience will actually make predictions about what we'll see on the physical and the cognitive side of consciousness if phenomenal experience exists. The way that falsification would have to occur is through the way that you deduce whatever cognitive and neural correlates would, you would expect to see associated with phenomenal experience. We all know that consciousness is going to have multiple aspects. There's going to be a biological theory of consciousness, there's going to be a cognitive theory of consciousness, and there's going to be a phenomenal theory of consciousness. And there should be very systematic relationships between all three of these such that given knowledge of one aspect, you should be able to make predictions about what you would see in the other aspects. Additionally, I believe that a compelling theory of consciousness will exist only within a broader view of nature that involves non-conscious or questions other than questions about consciousness um, with regard to nature. And I think some of those areas that get touched upon outside of consciousness in order to understand consciousness can also yield predictions about what we would expect nature to be like. If the question is, what will the impact on physicalism be, I think the answer is obvious and clear that it will falsify physicalism. Physicalism under understood as the very, very strong claim that everything that we need to understand about nature we can understand through understanding its physical basis. However, I do not think that means that a proper understanding of experience in the mental will falsify something that we know through physics or through chemistry or biology. I think the, the adequacy and the truth of the physical sciences can remain untouched from a, an enlarged view that incorporates a, a compelling and a transparent explanation of the mental.